In the previous video, part two, I flanged the boiler tube plate. In this video, I make a start on drilling the tube plate. First, I need to mark out the center pop the hole positions. So what I usually do is, once I've centre popped it, um, I reinforce the position of the centre pops with the, the small diameter drill using the hand drill. And I usually find that that gives less chance of uh, a drill wandering off position once it's in a drilling machine. So it's no more than that. Okay, so we're ready for the drilling machine. So we've got a range of different holes to drill. These 3 8 holes are for fire tubes. So these have to be accurate and they have to have clearance for silver soldering. These 1 inch holes are for fire tubes. And then we have two holes which I'm going to drill 10 millimeter. The actual drawing says that these should be tapped 5 16 uh, Don't fancy tapping copper 5 16 by 40 TPI. So I'm going to put a bush in here. So I'm going to drill 10 millimeters for the bush and then tap the bush 5 16 by 32. And this larger one here, again it says tap the uh, copper half inch by 32. Again, I don't fancy doing that, so I'm going to bush it. So I'm going to drill it 15 millimeters. So initially, I'm just going to drill all the holes 3 8 diameter. Um, then we need to size the 3 8 holes to get the right uh, fit for the tubes. The 1 inch holes I'll finish in the lathe. Um, these 10 millimeter holes for bushes I can do in a drilling machine. I can just push a drill through there, the actual finish size is not critical. Um, a 15 diameter hole again, it's not really feasible to do that in a drilling machine, so I maybe do that in a milling machine with an end mill. So the first task anyway is to drill the 3 8 holes. Okay, one of the problems when you're drilling this thin material, especially if it's copper, using a conventional uh, jobber drill, is that you can get a very lobe shaped hole, so it's not perfectly round. But the best, the best solution is to use one of these. This is a step drill used in sheet metal work. And these are really good for drilling thin material and you, you get a perfectly round hole. So this is an imperial drill. So I've marked a band with a black pen just above the 3 8 dimension. Uh, so that I know when to stop. I've already tried in a piece of copper so it actually comes out under size so we'll be fine. I've just uh, roughed out a piece of MDF to support this. And we'll just drill some of the holes that would be opened out later first just to make sure we're okay with this drill. We should be. I've already tried a bit on a piece of scrap. Looks good. Let's check the size. Uh, 
Okay, that's 9.4, which is 0 0.371. So it's just a little bit under a few thou, four thou under um, three eighths, which is good for what we need. So we'll get the rest done. Okay, so now we're going to work on the holes for the three eighth fire tubes. Now the tube is slightly oversized. Um, in metric it weighs, it measures 9.55 millimeters. So I'm going to drill at 9.6. See what sort of fit we get. But it is important that we get some clearance. It doesn't have to be a tight fit. It needs a small amount of clearance for the silver solder. Otherwise we risk not getting a good silver solder joint if the tubes are too tight. Try the tube. Still doesn't fit, but we'll go ahead and drill them all out anyway. Does it just very tight fit? So I think we'll put a, a 9.7 through and that will give the clearance for the silver solder without going too big. Okay, we'll try it on one of the other holes first. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Okay, that's all the three it's holes done for the fire tubes. So next I'll just drill these two out uh, 10 millimeter, and then that's as much as we can do on a drilling machine. A slight change of plan, discovered I have a three quarter inch step drill. So I'll drill the top hole for the bush to five eighths, and then the two holes that will end up one inch I'll drill through three quarters and then finish them off in the lathe. So to finish off I just use this uh, deburring tool, just go around each hole, take off the burr. In the next video part 4 I'll finish the larger 1 inch holes in the lathe.